match. Guyana supporters, knowing their ticket to the next round of qualifying was booked, made their presence felt. However, Jumbo Donatman made it clear to them he was going down with his Warriors. Two action on the pitch, and it was the Warriors who almost took the lead. Carlisle Mitchell, however, saw his effort cleared off the line. And then this teasing cross from Hutton Hector needed only a touch from Kenwin Jones to give his team the lead. The Golden Jaguars were looking to deepen the wounds of the already wounded Warriors, but found Marvin Phillips in their way. Lester Peltier, one of the players expected to lead the charge in the next World Cup campaign, had a great chance but was wasteful. And then Kevin Molino was denied by a fine save. The chances came but the Warriors failed to capitalize as both Carlisle Mitchell and Kenwin Jones missed easy chances. Goalless at the half. The breakthrough finally came in the 50th minute. Jones blasting past the guy and his keeper, and as expected, a mellow celebration from the Warriors. He should have had a second moment later. But he somehow missed the target. Lester Pelty added a second for the Warriors, using a burst of speed to get the better of the Golden Jaguars defense. 2-0 the final as the Warriors were left to wonder what might have been had they taken their chances in Guyana. Ken Fuentes, he's